trailer loading issues. First of all, they're prey animals and the idea of being confined in an area where they can't see predators coming, I mean, it's pretty amazing that they get in at all. And secondly, people make such a big deal over the trailer that once the horse comes up to the trailer and he gets a lot of pressure put on him to get in, it's going to be even scarier for him to come up to it the next time because he's going to associate it with a very stressful situation. Some common things that a horse will do to avoid getting in the trailer, he'll balk, he'll try and go sideways around the trailer, or he'll run backwards or, or be more aggressive about resisting or kicking or striking. I'd like to send a horse in the trailer without me, but I haven't put Leo in the trailer before and I don't know exactly how he's going to going to respond. If you do decide to walk your horse in the trailer, make sure that you have the brake on, the trailer's not going to move, the doors are open and locked open, and that the escape doors are wide open. So get him straight and allow him to look. He's allowed to look and think about the trailer as long as he's not trying to go away. And I'm going to take any pressure off of him as long as he's expressing some kind of curiosity. I want him to be really comfortable with the situation. I don't want him to feel like this is a place where there's potentially a lot of anxiety. If you walk the horse up and get anxious that he's not going to get in and start putting pressure on him before he has a chance to think about it, this is going to be a really scary place. So I want to get him refocused, that he's going to come up the ramp. No, he doesn't get to go sideways. I'm going to just block him. That's why your stick is here. I'm not beating my horse with the stick, but just to create a block that that's not an option. The only right choice is to come straight up the ramp. If he offers anything, even just looking at it, that's okay. Doesn't get to go backwards, doesn't get to go sideways. As soon as he stops being anxious and offers to come forward onto the ramp, I'm going to take the pressure away. So right here, all I want him to do is just stand straight and relax. I don't even care if he puts his foot on the ramp right now. All right, so now that he's standing patiently, I'm going to encourage him to take a step forward onto the ramp. So a little pressure on his head. And then as soon as he comes forward, I take the pressure off. Good boy. So now that he's in here, I'm going to just be really reassuring and just keep this a real positive experience. I'm not going to suddenly lock down the doors and tie him up and try and trap him in here because I don't want him to think that as soon as he gets in the scary box, he gets stuck. If he does back out, then you have the opportunity to do it again and he's just going to get better. So you, you don't want to be in too big a hurry to trap your horse in the trailer. <laughs>